So the next step would be to create a final invoice for the carters. And that brings us back to our documents in accounting. We'll go down to the Brigantine Beach Home, and in this case we're going to create a new client invoice, either by using the client invoice button or just right clicking and doing new invoice to the client. And that brings the new invoice window. And now we're back to seeing the custom sofa item rather than the three components of the frame, fabric, and trim. Again, these are going to be showing all of the items that we have not yet invoiced in full to the carters. We could use the show all to see those items are previously invoiced. But as I said, I prefer to keep my list nice and tidy and manageable. In fact, I like to use the proposal number filter, whereby I can even narrow down the new invoice window further just to show the information on a particular proposal like our custom sofa. Today's date is fine for our invoice transaction description. This will not appear on the invoice to the carters. Again, it's only for our uh, reference. I'll bill on sofa. And then we just select our custom sofa. So I'm just going to show all of our totals in the bottom left. Total price, there's our sales tax, there is our 220350 deposit. So I'm just recognizing the fact that we recorded the check from the carters and is giving us a total balance due of 2650485. If we click OK on the new invoice window, we could print our client invoice. I, again, I like to use the modern format to ensure that my proposal and invoices have a consistent uh, format. And now we can see the print preview of the invoice itself. And it will indeed appear very much like the proposal with a few changes. We have an invoice title at the top. There's a proposal number being listed for us. In this case, I'm showing the billing, site, and shipping addresses. In the body, we have our location. There's our custom sofa description, our optional picture of the sofa, quantity and unit of measure, unit and total prices. And we have our subtotal but we also have a freight charge being listed here of $220. Another one of the settings that I configured for the carters was that I told Design Manager that whenever I receive a bill for freight from the vendors, I want to pass that on automatically to the carters upon invoicing. Moreover, I want to charge an additional 10% for any incidentals. So recall that Century charges $200 for the shipping of the custom sofa. So Design Manager recognizes that fact, catches that $200, adds an additional 10%, and is now passing on a freight price of $220 to the carters. So Design Manager can be configured to catch those freight installation crating charges that are so easily missed but have such a profound effect upon your bottom line. We then recalculate the sales tax, have our total invoice amount, we can see our deposit, reducing the balance due and even the client's check number, and there's our balance due of $2654.85. We have some custom remarks. We can print, email, or export. Once all the information uh, is uh, satisfactory to us, again, we close our print preview of the invoice and accept. And now we can see our invoice 10004 listed in our invoice folder, today's date, original balance due, current balance due, and there's our convenient uh, description so I can immediately see what was included on that invoice.